Hi friends and welcome to Snack and Story Time with Canadian Valley Cooks with Kids. I'm Courtney Matlock and I work for Canadian Valley Technology Center at their Chickasha campus and I'm here today with some very special guests. Girls, why don't you introduce yourselves? Hello, this is my friend Isabel. Me and her are very good friends. We are in the same class at school at Bill Wallace and we can like have some we have very fun time. And what's your together. name? Her name's Isabel. But what's your name? Emily. Emily and Isabel and... Hi, my name's Alice Matlock. I've been in every video with my mom, especially she's probably the best cooker in the world. Big fan club. So, True. Mother's Day, you may or may not know, Heads Up is just around the corner. And what a special way to do something for your mom um, then make her breakfast and better yet you could make breakfast in bed so today we're going to show you three simple recipes for a simple brunch that you can make for your mom overnight waffles excellent cupcakes and a simple fruit salad so we can't wait to show them to you the first step for all of our recipes is to have clean hands and to have your parents permission so do we have clean hands everybody yes check do we have permission? Yes. yes. Check, check. Awesome, so we're off to a good start. So overnight waffles, you make them the night before, which is really cool because it makes clean up the next day super simple. So you've made your mess the night before, clean up your batter, clean up your mess, and then the next morning all you have to do is pour your batter, pull your batter out of the fridge, pour it into your hot waffle iron, and there you go, simple as that. So. Let's talk about what you're gonna need for your overnight waffles. You're gonna need one and three fourths cups of milk. Ellis, go ahead and pour that milk in with your four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Yes, ma'am. The butter is only one spoon. So we will heat this up, and then once it's heated and melted, we'll add it to two cups of flour, a tablespoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of instant yeast and a teaspoon of salt. Now, one thing about the yeast, notice I said instant or fast rising. It might look like this at the grocery store. There's another type of yeast you may have seen, traditional yeast. This is not the one we're using today. We want fast rising, instant. Okay, so Isabel, go ahead and add the sugar the yeast and the salt into the flour and give that a stir. Ellis, stick this in the microwave for me, please, Help. for a minute. If you, if you come YouTube, you see our video. Okay. And then while Isabel is stirring up the dry ingredients, Emily has two large eggs mm -hmm. and a teaspoon of vanilla in her bowl and she's gonna stir that, whisk it. Both girls are whisking. Yeah, it's like a whisker. Mm -hmm. So, did you guys know that waffles originated from the country of Belgium? You heard of Belgium? No. And there are so many varieties over there. They have about a dozen or so regional varieties of waffles. And Waffles are a fun thing to make at home because you can make them with however you want. You could add chocolate chips to your waffles. You could add sprinkles to your waffles. Put maple inside of it. Maple, bacon, the sky's the limit. Egg. So here we are. Good job. Hold on, leave it right there. Let me grab your spatula for you. We'll give it a stir, even though they're baking. It's okay. It's, it's like and we're gonna pop it in for another minute, okay? Just one more minute. Okay, we're done. Eh, I'm done. Got it? Oh. One more minute on the milk Mine and butter. Like Alright, y'all did a good job of taking Mom, a break from the stir. Now the neat thing about these overnight waffles is that they have yeast in them. Like and like waffles are made from a leavened batter, which means they have an ingredient in it that makes them rise. 
and the yeast and these make them extra light and fluffy and airy and they have such a um, nice yeasty flavor to it when you put them in the waffle iron. I like waffles that I are I feel like sweet. it's special too. I like waffles so. that are sweet and fluffy. They taste good. Well, then and they're warm and nice. Yeah, I me too. I like the ones when you add kisses. That's your some, little sometimes, You want to go ahead and add a kiss to these waffles? Like really fluffy. You can put it in the Is Bill you add a kiss? And then you take it out. There we go. It up, it's is it hot? Be very careful. Pull the hot liquid up. Give it a stir. Perfect. Now, we're going to let this cool for about five minutes because we don't want to add it to the yeast while it's too hot or it'll damage it and it might not rise like it's supposed to. So while we're waiting on our butter and milk mixture to cool, I just wanted to tell you about our story today for story time. It's called Someday. And I got this book before I ever was expecting our first daughter because I thought it was the sweetest story about a mom and her hopes and dreams for her child one day. And I hope you'll stick around after we are done making our brunch to hear me read this story someday by Allison McGee and Peter Reynolds. And it's just a really sweet and short story, so I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, our butter mixture is almost cooled off. How much 45 time? 45 seconds. 45 seconds? I bet it's good enough. So go ahead, Ellis, and pour that into the dry mixture. And while she pours, Isabel, you whisk. Can we both stir it? No, no. Emily. Hang on. Hi, All right. We're stirring. It's hard We're right whisking. Now. It, it, it's hard right now. Look at you go. You've got good muscles. Okay. All right. It's hard. All right, no, Em, now you take good. your... Emily, now will you... Both hands. Emily, pour in your two oh. eggs that's been whisked with the vanilla teaspoon. What color is it? What do y'all think about the smell of that vanilla? How's it smell? It smells yum. It jumped out a little bit. That's okay, that happens. I it bet the kid got away. Now we're going to whisk it until it's all smooth and totally it. combined. Oh, look at that. Hard. Good teamwork, girls. It's up higher. All right, let me hop in here a second, okay? Good job, Emily. All right, let mommy take the, the corner whisk. Out. I think y'all got it. So now I'm just going to cover this we both got it. with plastic wrap and I'm going to cover it and pop it in the refrigerator for at least 12 hours up to 24 hours. And notice I'm using plastic wrap not wax and I'm not covering it with a tight lid. Hmm. Why do you think that might be? So you can still let air in. It is because of our ingredient yeast that we use and yeast will release a gas as it activates and a tight lid you don't want an explosion in the middle of the night that would be super scary so this lets it breathe a little bit but it's still covered and protected so we're going to put this in our refrigerator <laughs> all right so moving on the next component to our simply beautiful breakfast brunch for mom that was a lot of bees um we're going to make excellent egg cupcakes and it's kind of like a kid-friendly version of a quiche or a frittata. Now, traditionally, a quiche has a crust and it's made with like a custard base, but we're not using a crust for this one. So it's also um, carb-friendly if you're trying to not eat very many carbs or if your mom's not trying to eat many carbs. So our ingredients that you need are three eggs. Now let's go ahead and start whisking those together. Two tablespoons of milk, and you can add the milk when you're ready. A fourth teaspoon of salt. Wait, in the eggs? Yes, pour that milk in with the eggs. And then today we're going to use diced ham. It's just deli ham, the deli sandwich meat. Chopped spinach. Three table, two to three tablespoons of each. And a fourth cup of cheddar cheese. You could also use Gruyere cheese. You could use whatever. You could use bacon. You could use asparagus or onion or mushrooms or tomatoes. This really whatever, whatever you might have in your refrigerator. If you've not been to the grocery store in a little bit, eggs are very versatile. Where you can do lots of different things with them. And these um, little egg cupcakes are a great healthy breakfast that you can make at the start of your week. 
and then you could keep them in an airtight container and they'll stay fresh about four or five days in your refrigerator and then you just pop them in the microwave in the morning and you've got a simple breakfast ready to go that's healthy too and delicious. So Ellis has mixed together in a large measuring cup three eggs, the, the milk and the salt. And then you two girls, go ahead and start. It should be right above the three, four. Hold on, five. Emily. Let's, I mean, right, first we're going to put in here. some ham and spinach. Emily, why don't you do some ham? And Isabel can do the spinach. Just a little bit. Go ahead, just use your fingers. You okay. could like pinch it. Because you have clean, washed fingers, so it's okay. You could like pinch. Did you know your best kitchen tools to use? Do you know what they are? Your fingers. Your fingers! Emily, stop. As long as they're clean. Nah. Everything getting stuck on it. Because your hands are sticky. No, because they're wet now. All right, and then go ahead and do the last one. So this recipe makes four, but just as easily oh, you could double it and make, what's what's four times two? What's four times two? Easy. Eight. So you could make extra if you just double your recipe. Ellis, once the, so this one's done, you put cheese on top, so you put your vegetables and your meat in on the bottom and then a layer of cheese on the top. Go ahead and use up all that cheese on all four of them, okay? And then once the cheese is on, Ellis is going to evenly distribute the egg mixture between the four cups. All right, that is good. There's still more in there. Okay, go ahead, that's okay. Just a little bit. We're gonna stick these in the oven that we'd already preheated to 350, and these bake in about 20 minutes, okay? So we'll go ahead and put them in. And while they bake, we'll move on to making a simple fruit salad and heating up our waffle iron for our delicious overnight waffle batter. So our excellent egg cupcakes are baking in the oven, and while they bake, we're going to make a simple fruit salad. Now you can use whatever fruit you might have laying around in your refrigerator. And we have um, two different colors of grapes. Red and green. Mm -hmm. And some sliced strawberries, and then a little bit of mandarin orange and pineapple. pineapple. And then Ellis is going to carefully slice the banana for us. So go ahead and start slicing that banana, Ellis. Good job. Yeah. Now, um, Isabel, go ahead and pour in our strawberries. Just dump them in there. You got it. All of them. Good job. <laughs> and like I said, you can use whatever fruit you have laying around the house. I like to use these particular ones yeah, because it, it looks like a pretty rainbow at the end. Give that a good stir. And then I like to do the banana right before I serve it because sometimes if banana is left out, it can get a little bit dingy brown color. So I like to just put that sliced banana in right before we serve it. But this keeps for a few days and gets better and better as it sits. Now we're going to add a little bit of sugar to our fresh fruit. Excuse me, ladies. Go ahead and stir that in. Nicer. And that sugar and is just to going to fresh. activate and with the fruit with and make right a no, natural simple syrup. Oh. And we're going to go ahead and add yeah. these bananas. Can I do it? Yeah. Okay. Put that to banana. I love to make this at the oh. cafe at the school. It does great, not just for breakfast, but as a side with sandwiches. Oh, yeah, because she always has the little black bowls with like different fruits. Yeah. In. Y'all did an awesome job. Look how pretty that is. Doesn't it look like a pretty rainbow? Uh -huh. My dad would like to see this because he likes beautiful colors. This makes a great snack too, just on its own. Evelyn really likes this. All right, so question. now we'll just put this in the refrigerator and we will be ready to make our waffle butter. Our waffle iron is almost done heating up. Here we go, simple fruit salad. Okay, so our eggs are almost done and our waffle iron is heated up. And it's the perfect time to go ahead and pull that batter back out of the fridge. Now here's the batter that I made last night. So it's ready. And see how it's kind of bubbled up? That's, That's from the yeast. yeast. Yeah. And you can see all so the So go ahead and give it a whisk and recombine it all. It'll kind of 
smush back down you, a little bit. And it actually is kind of, it smells like bread and it feels like it bread dough because of the yeast. It does smell really good, like homemade okay. bread. Perfect. Okay, okay now I'm going to open our good. waffle iron up. And turn it to the side. And I'm going to take my half cup dry measuring cup. This batter feels nice and thick. Now this will make, this recipe makes about eight half cup waffles. So you can do this two times. Right? Yeah. And one neat thing about waffles is they're easy to freeze. You can put cooled waffles in between parchment paper and then put those in a Ziploc bag. I bet that's going to overflow. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, so our waffle iron just beeped at me, letting me know it's time to get these waffles out of the oven. Waffle iron. Perfect. I wish you could smell because it just has that classic yeasty fresh bread scent that I could just devour them. So get this last one out and then we have one over here I think. See if it's ready to go. Whoop. It's a little baby waffle. Now I have a few waffles in here already that are being kept warm on a cooling rack inside a line, I mean a rimmed cooking cookie sheet. And that's a great way to keep your waffles warm while you finish cooking the rest of your batter. So that way everybody can sit down and have waffles together and nobody's stuck in the kitchen still cooking waffles. So that's a little tip there for your waffle making. And there you have it, a Simply Sweet Mother's Day brunch, overnight waffles, Mom, excellent Mom, cupcakes, fruit Mom. salad. And we hope you have so much fun making it and serving the special mom in your life. And don't forget to help clean up. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day! Day! Love you, Mom.